Summers. I'm a tax attorney in San Francisco and welcome to Boomer Bob's Tax Cafe and Coffee Bar where we drink lattes and we talk about tax. Today we're going to discuss the situation where a foreign individual gives you a gift of cyber currency or cash. Well first the good news. The transaction is tax free. You pay no tax on, upon receipt of the gift. The not so good news is there's a, a variety of reporting requirements and disclosures you must make. So let's go through an example. Let's say your foreign mother makes you a gift of cyber currency of $125,000 and then also puts $30,000 in a foreign bank account in which you and your mother are joint owners. The first place we look at is what's called Form 3520. That deals with uh, gifts or inheritance from a foreign individual during the calendar year, and the threshold amount is, is over $100,000. Well, in this case, the cyber currency you receive is over $100,000, it's 125000 so you must file Form 3520. Interestingly, you did not get a gift of $30,000 because that money was placed in a joint account. It only becomes a gift when you withdraw the money. What about IRS? What about 1040s? Well, now there's a disclosure requirement on Form 1040 at the top of the first page in which IRS asks, did you have any transactions during the year involving virtual assets? And you have to answer yes or no. Well, you have to answer yes because you received a gift of, of cryptocurrency of $125,000. Another financial obligation is filing what's called an FBAR, a foreign bank account report. That's separate from your tax return and you file it online. And it, it applies whenever you have assets in foreign bank accounts, foreign financial accounts, exceeding $10,000 during the calendar year. Here, because you're an owner of a joint account having $30,000 in it, you have to file an FBAR. Then there's form 8938. That's a form that's attached to your tax return in which you report your ownership of foreign financial assets. That form has certain thresholds like $50,000 for a single individual or $100,000 for a married couple. And in our example, you only have $30,000 in the foreign account. So you do not need to file Form 8938 unless you're holding the cyber currency in a foreign account uh, or a foreign institution, in which case you would need to report that on the FBAR and you'd have to file Form 8938. If you have questions about this or any other tax topics, please drop me a line. If you found this video interesting or informative, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Visit my website for other information regarding videos and articles that I've written about taxes. Until next time, this is Bob Summers from Boomer Bob's Tax Cafe and Coffee Bar hoping you'll join me for my next topic.